today I'm going to share with you a way to do a hex on someone that's really trying to hurt you or put harm or injury onto your family. So as a witch, we've been given tools at our disposal which we can use to try and prevent some of these idiots from trying to hurt us. So it's not that I do hexes all the time, but when somebody really pisses me off, which is never a good idea, there's some tools I can bring out of my toolkit that can um, cause some harm. The best time to conduct any hex is at night time and specifically when the person is sleeping. And I made this spell specifically with a voodoo doll. So I created the voodoo doll and I use I just use Play-Doh, good old Play-Doh. It's really cheap here in the USA. So I like down the dollar store and so you get four of them for a dollar. But if you're a, a mum, you can make this or a guy, you can make it at home with flour and uh, water and salt, Play-Doh 101. And so you can then add some color and you've got Play-Doh, right? So that's it's really good for voodoo dolls with spells like this specifically because you can, um, as you're creating the little shapes of the head and the body and the little arms and legs, you're putting that intention into that shape, right? And you're thinking about the outcome and you're thinking about what this person did and how they wronged you. So there's a lot of intention there. There's a lot of energy that goes into this. You're gonna have, if you've got um, a tadlock or some personal object of this person, you're going to be, uh, you'll collect that if you don't have that then um, of course their name if you know their birthday anything that you've got about them and you'll be writing that down on the paper as well um, the ingredients that I use specifically um, I always use some sort of personal element of myself and um, for this specific spell what did I use I use graveyard dirt now if you can't go down to the graveyard yourself and dig up your own dirt, sure, you can get it from someone reputable. That's up to you to find your local reputable um, occult dealer. Um, but it's always good to go down the graveyard and know the grave that uh, you're getting this from. And also with some of the, the dragon blood ink, and I'm gonna show you some pictures of how I use the dragon's blood ink. Get your Play-Doh. and it's really soft, okay? Very, very soft. And so all you have to do, now remember it would be nighttime um, while you're constructing this voodoo doll. It's always best to do your hexes at nighttime. Um, I've got some candles burning. I've got actually two red candles and you might think candles are for love spells, but you might, Red candles are for love spells, but check out my website where I've also got the candle colors for black magic spells. That's under advanced magic on my site. Um, so you might want to check that. And I also have a single black candle that's burning. Now I've evoked my specific spirit. Um, to be present here but you may want to evoke whatever spirit or basically call in the elements um, which is what I used to do I used to call in the elements and I still do for a lot of spells I'll call in the elements and uh, of the north the south the east to the west and the west but for this hex you're really getting into state and you're thinking about what that person did to you and you're, as you're forming the shape of the, the wax, you're getting really pissed off and you're thinking about what they did and you're pushing that energy into the shape, right? So making the little head. It's really about the intention, the connection to the intention. Okay, so you get what I mean? So you're gonna make this little shape um, this should take you about probably I don't know five ten minutes to make and you get what I mean so you're going to make little arms and legs and so forth so this is what I did last night so this is the shape 
and turn this around. Of course, this is the end product, but this is all. This was blue Play-Doh. The head, arms, body. Of course, the middle has been pushed in now, but basically. Uh, and this has more stuff on it. I'll explain what this has on it in a second. But what I do, I, this is graveyard dirt and uh, you should go to a cemetery and collect graveyard dirt yourself if you can. Um, be very mindful and read up on how you should collect the dirt and which graves you should collect it off. But otherwise, if you're really not sure, just buy it from your local occult shop. Um, there's a lot of genuine ones online. Um, so get, get some of that. And I open the cavity and inside the cavity, I wrote down the person's name and I put graveyard dirt and a razor blade inside of that cavity. Um, if you're into the planetary cycles, it's always, and the moon, it's good to do it to, um, during a waning moon. And when the moon is in Scorpio or Capricorn, that's a really good time to do this type of hex. Because after you finish the spell, you're going to put it in a coffin. And the idea is that you're going to end up burying the doll. When you're making a voodoo doll for hexes, you don't have to consecrate the doll. I don't bring it to life to then kill it. Um, I'm putting all that hate and intention into the doll with all of its ingredients. And then I'm covering it with uh, dragon's blood. Dragon's blood isn't from a freshly killed dragon. It's actually from a tree. You can look up where that's made um, and how it's harvested and the natural forms of that online. Um, but and it's it has some medicinal uses as well but for our purposes it actually enhances some of the properties in hexing so I, I like to use that as well I use some of my own body fluids I've spat on this doll and at the end of it I've punched it and I spat on it and um, so and I've really just punched in um, the, the torment and all the pain and all the anger into the doll. That is the spell in itself. Finally, I'm sealing it with the black wax. And once again, I'm cursing the little doll, right? I'm also asking my spirit guide to ensure that the work and the hate and, and my personal request for what I want done to this person will be carried out. So the next thing you do to finish off this spell is that you put some more graveyard dirt on top of the doll and you put it inside the box um, and then you put some more dirt on top of the doll. Um, once again cursing it, you seal it in the box and then what you're going to do is take it outside. It really depends on where you live. Um, you can take it back to a graveyard if you live next to a graveyard or somewhere close that you're not going to get busted and thrown into jail. Um, after you bury the person, you forget about it, right? You don't think about that. You don't think about the spell. You don't think about the person again, because if you do, it's going to really interfere with its working. So you just got to let it be. And then you go and you go and have a, uh, a cleansing bath with however you like to do your cleansing baths, but you just clear your aura, you clear your energy, and then you be done with it because you're done now. You can't think about it anymore. That's it for your doll and, and let your spiritual guide take care of the rest of it.